guys, my boy Jeffrey from Jeffrey This World. I welcome back to a crazy ass adventure today. We're gonna explore what was supposed to be a paint factory. They actually think this was a paint factory and it's abandoned for a very long time. I don't know for how long, but we didn't find any history about this place. This place is called as the Transformers because of the crazy machines behind us. I'm not alone. I'm here at EMB Crew. The links will be down below. I'm here with Urbex Pictures. It's in the, it will be in the description as well. Liana Photographics is busy with taking pictures, so <laughs> he's kind of say hello right now, maybe later in this video. So smash the big ass like, guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and you love abandoned factory explorations. Let's go! <laughs> random people showed up right now they're actually exploring this building as well guys it's actually popular in the urban community but they are just explorers so not dangerous people or something i hope so but uh, it was actually an awkward moment i'm just happy it's not the cops <laughs> yeah me too man because i literally don't want some jail today <laughs> i was in jail before two hours really Legit, yes uh, i was exploring a abandoned spot in brussels and uh, the cops showed up and they arrested us oh, yeah my really? old pal Rodrigo. Yeah, we only had to endure the cops once, right as we were walking out of a, a site, it was an abandoned factory, and we were heading back to the street while a, a police car stopped, and they reversed the car, and they stepped out, and we were like, oh hell, no, you're not gonna get us, and we were just five of us running all the way back to the factory, then across the park and stuff, but we got away, so it's okay. <laughs> That's literally savage. <laughs> yeah, I don't feel like going to jail. But <laughs> Me too. Uh, I hate when the cop showed up, actually. Any other inspirations got, uh, like, what, arrested like two or yeah. three days ago? Yeah. Yeah. I was inspired by Sam and Colby YouTubers, and they okay, got great. arrested like two days ago. So <laughs> <laughs> for trespassing on a construction site. All right. <laughs> Don't do this. <laughs> yeah, literally. So guys, check out this big ass machine and know which machine this is. If you know which one this is, let me know in the comments below. I really want to know which machine or type of machine this is actually. Looks literally like a transformer, you know. Very epic. But there's actually another machine there. A little bit different than this one. So I'm gonna show it to you right now. And Look at this guys, here we are, closer by the machine, it looks epic as well, it looks very special. Damn, I wish I knew which type of machine this was. This one is, I think, the same like this, probably. Yeah, this is the same right now. Okay, that's epic. The name of this machine is Didisheim, probably in German or something but looks definitely great just found a weird ass sort of room guys i don't know which room this is looks pretty weird but i don't know check this out another sort of generator i think i'm not for sure but here is actually the floor is a little bit flooded very strange all right first of all i'm gonna show you the offices right now that's actually there but the ground here is very sleepy so we have to be very careful right now guys I hope I'm not gonna slip away because it's dirty as hell here actually. Check this out guys, the offices. Small offices. I saw there's actually still some paper left behind. Like you can see right now. So amazing. Maybe we got we can find out for how long this place is actually abandoned. Probably for more than five years definitely. Or maybe ten, I'm for sure. A lot of trash here. Probably homeless people slept here. Who knows? A lot of pillows and stuff like that. Wow, some documents. Check this out, guys. Some archives, or files, you know, documents, stuff like that. It's all storage here right now. Wow, that's crazy. 
check this. A lot of documents right here in this room. Oh, right. I really love this right now. So right now in the office, guys, you're gonna find out for how long this place is actually banned. I hope we can find some info. So this is actually on 2013. That's actually six years ago. But I don't think this is actually the date when it became abandoned. It's about the schedule from the employees who is going to work in the morning, in the night, and at night, you know, and only a day. That's nice. This is actually from 2011. Hmm. All different dates. It's very hard to say, guys, how long this is actually a band, but I think it's more than 10 years. So, yeah. All right, let's go explore some further of this beautiful factory. And if you see more factories, let me know in the comments below, guys, and I definitely do one. I know it's been a while since I explored in a factory. Well, this time is right now for another crazy factory explosion, guys. And like I said, let me know in the comments below. Spam in the comments, actually, if you want to see more by factories. I think this is a band for more than 10 years because yeah. we found some papers about the schedules from the employees yeah. who's work at, in the morning at night you know and that paper are actually from 2013 six years ago so oh, yeah. what is this you know, maybe about stress about the maybe it is actually a picture from when the factory was active yeah i think so I it's nice and you actually some danger things it's all in english Code of Universal Precautions. Nice. Check this guy's how amazing this view is. Right here. And I think in front of me is Liano. Probably him. And his girlfriend. But I really love it, this view right now. Hopefully we can... Oh, the door is open. Nice. So here you are guys, I know which area this is. Probably the production area here. So, but it looks amazing. DK is incredible. Wow. It just looks like it took fire here, probably because of the ceiling is actually black. Hmm, words. Check this, guys. Just looks like an entry to a mine or something. Wow. Maybe Freddy Krueger will come and show him Salvatore's right now and kill us then. Who knows? Check this, damn. Pretty scary here. Holy shit. Wow. This is creepy ass hell, fam. Wow. I don't know which hallway this is. It looks definitely scary as hell. Whoa. Some clothes, probably workers' clothes. Ooh, this door is locked, but check this out, guys. I found a creepy ass chair there in the corner. Damn. Maybe this was a sort of storage room. Whoa, check the DK here. Oh, there's an elevator here right now. Wow. Oh! Check this. We found another office, guys. Wow. Incredible. It's not that dark here. But check this. A big ass table. This is literally insane. Holy moly. Holy damn. <gasps> Crazy. Look at the ceiling guys, the paint is coming down.
fam, as you can say what you want, but this light is insane here. Jesus Christ, you check this out. It's just awesome. very good lighting here. Yes. Yeah. It's still like there is actually light burning. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> it has a sort of orange light. It's amazing. It's like a sunset light. Yeah, definitely. I think uh, this at night will be insanely scary as hell. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Maybe a haunted. We've done several uh, times. Several nights. Someone in the room has been here and, uh, at night and he told us that yeah. he was the walking, walking uh, across the room and then they passed back and there was like a, a bucket of paint in the middle of the room. Seriously? It wasn't there yeah. before, yeah. We don't, know if it, we don't know if it's true, but he told us that he was walking in a room, nothing there, and he walked back the same room and there was a, a bucket of paint yeah. in the middle of the room. Oh, wow, that's scary, man. Yeah, he told us. It was... It's a word as well that there's just a random bucket yeah. standing in nowhere. <laughs> but we had the same thing in a location. Um, was a huge site and we were walking around with several buildings. Was at night too? And there was like a hangar, and there was nothing inside, like for something like a, a skate ramp or something. When we passed, but when we got back, there was like a bucket, a random bucket, just standing there. And we went to came look at it, and we heard footsteps and a huge thud right behind us. Damn and guys, I, I checked this. I checked That's literally insane to hear this. Footage we had. No there was no bucket the first time. That's the second time the bucket was there, and then we went to check it out. We heard like footsteps, loud footsteps, and then a huge bang right behind us. Maybe something demonic is here, man. I don't know, man. Was or bad spirits, who knows? We were we wanted to stay a little longer to try and investigate, to try and check it out, but we were with different people, and they. Well, it's hard with our group to yeah, find it out. They weren't as. They didn't feel safe and they wanted to leave, so... Yeah, I understand. <laughs> you know, if, you, if you put yourself at risk, it's one thing, but when you're surrounded by others, you can't put other, other people at risk. You gotta... Yeah. That's definitely true, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Look but at the graffitis. Yeah, we went, we did have something captured on camera, like a black shadow. We didn't see it when we were at the location. We saw it afterwards when we were editing the video. It was like a black shadow moving from the left to the right and it was going back and as soon as I went out of sight we heard like a huge bang on a metal plate I was standing with. Holy yeah. shit, that's insane. It's captured on camera, that's captured nice. on camera. That was creepy, we didn't know before. Oh, it's crazy. Wow, check this guys, look at the plants. Just like uh, from a shot from The Last of Us here right now. But that's cool to see this. Um, check it out. We just found a sort of crazy. I don't know what it's the heck like this. Like a target rose or something. Yeah. yeah. It's so weird. I'm not gonna show you the whole compound. Just we just found out by Liano. We got, we got walkie talkies, and he just said he um, saw some junkies guys, and they are probably dangerous. So we're not gonna show you the whole place, especially with our gear and stuff. You know, it's very risky to do this. Maybe to attack us or something? I don't know, I think if it's the same guys we saw, I don't think we're at any risk. Mm. I don't know, I mean... Hopefully they are the same guys, not others. If it's not other this place I probably big think aspect. about it twice. But if it's the same guys, we're oh, probably this. like... I think it's a bird. Yeah, a bird. <laughs> Damn. If it's the same guys, I think they're like, as long as you leave us, we'll leave you alone. Yeah, hopefully, they hopefully. will think the same like this now. Hey guys. <laughs> Alright, guys. Okay, we have to be very careful now because I don't really don't trust junkies at all. So, yeah. Some office shares. So amazing, guys, to see this spot here now. There are everywhere some graffiti on the walls. Damn. There's this in the middle. Check this guy, how big this is. 
Oh, insane. Check this fams, just found another sort of documents room right now. Or office. Maybe a small magazine. Wow. Whoa, check this fams. Freak me off factories to see this all, you know? It's insane. Damn. Smells like wood here. So many files in the closet. I really, really hate pigeons because they can shit on your face yeah. every moment. Especially if they are there above us. <laughs> Hopefully they're outside, not inside the compound. <laughs> Oh yeah, look like some pigeon shit, a lot of pigeon shit, just like a church. Can you imagine doing yeah. like five locations with pigeon pools? <laughs> yeah, the pigeons are there I think, yeah. Look guys, there are some pigeons. Wow, oh, they're looking at us right now, check this out. Look at them. Look at the pigeons guys. <laughs> Big ass pigeons. such weird noises. Yeah. <laughs> Newton pigeons. This, that's like spooky sound and they're like, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, that's actually rare pigeon sounds. Imagine, imagine. That is not a rare Literally mutant pigeon sounds. Oh, oh. Mm, not for us, I think. We literally just heard sirens, guys, but it was not for us, gladfully. But you are searching for Liliano right now. We're literally searching for Liliano right now. I don't know where the heck he is. Check this, guys. Another building here. It's crazy. We definitely lost. Oh, shit. There's actually a house. Damn. <laughs> They literally gonna see us maybe every they can see us every minute if you're gonna walk like that. <laughs> Shit. Okay. We was walking there outside and there's actually a house right in front of us right now. They literally can see us right now, Jesus. Alright, we now in search for Leon right now. We are searching for him right now, then I'm gonna finish this video right now guys because I literally saw almost the whole place because this factory is actually too big to show you it right now in one day and we have to do some more places today as well so I'm gonna spare on batteries a little bit so I can give you some more crazy footage in the future fam so yeah but I don't know where the heck the is because this place is literally too big so we have to search for him right now. <laughs> Damn. So we just found Liana Photographics right now. He was at the attic, take some dope ass pictures here. And his girlfriend was with him as well the whole time. So you saw junkies, yeah? Yeah, it smells like shit there. <laughs> so I just asked you if you saw junkies and you said it smells like shit. Yeah. <laughs> It's actually a very bad smell because it took literally fire in a building. No, not, I didn't even stop. But look at this, guys. The attic is here insane. With a big ass ego. Oh. Nice. I love it. Check this here. Right, I think I'm gonna finish my video here right now at the attic. You found Liano? And I really hope you enjoyed this video. This was actually a very nice inspiration of this beautiful decade factory called as Transformers. You shout out to IMP Crew <laughs> to join us right now. Don't forget to subscribe to them. I will put their YouTube channel in the description below. So help him to get the 2K. Uh, yeah, we're pretty close by 2K. So, so definitely help nice. them. <laughs> To get the 2k guys to 2000 subscribers and tell them you came by me and that I sent it to you. So definitely support them because they have some more dope ass exploration as well. So smash the big ass like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well. Shout out to her and shout out to Liano for locations. 
this was epic, guys. I'm going to see you in another one. Peace.